G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now we're all probably familiar with the key products or the big products in the e-signature space and those being DocuSign and Adobe Sign, uh, especially with the integration into Microsoft 365. But SharePoint actually does offer an e-signature solution that we're gonna take a look at in this video uh, that may just do what you need it to do. Not all the big bells and whistles of DocuSign and Adobe Sign, but maybe you don't need that. So let's dive in and take a look at the SharePoint e-signature solution from end to end and see if this is going to do what you need. All right, so here we are inside of my SharePoint site. I've got an NDA here in, a, in Word document format, but also one in PDF. Now, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the PDF functionality um, because at the time of this recording, the ability to insert a signature inside of Word isn't available right now, but follow along and I will uh, create and record another video when that actually gets released and I have that um, in my tenant. So head over to danielanderson.io uh, and pop your email address in and follow along and you'll get uh, notified when I, that video drops. So let's have a look at a PDF document here. I've got an NDA, I'll open it up inside of the viewer here. Now you can see it's pretty stock standard. Um, I actually got Copilot to write this for me uh, for the purposes of this video. And you can see that I've got two uh, a signing box down here where I need two signatures, one for me and one for the person that I'm sending this to. Now, we'll notice in the ribbon across the top in the toolbar, I've got the ability here to select um, or request signatures. Now I've got Adobe uh, Acrobat Sign and also DocuSign eSignature as well. So they're the two, obviously the, the two common ones. But you'll notice here that I also have the SharePoint eSignature option. So when I click on SharePoint eSignature, on the right hand side, I get the recipients that I can include or that I need to sign this. So let's first of all pop in, I'll pop in, let's pop in Frankie. All right, so I'll pop in Frankie uh, as an option there. Now I'll also pop in um, the other Daniel as well. All right, now we've got two people. Now you'll also see that we can toggle that we can um, select the recipients and um, ensure that the order is followed, right? So at the moment I've got the first signature will be Frankie, the second signature will be the other Daniel. All right, so if I now scroll down to uh, the signature section here, that's where I wanna place some fields. Now, I did say at the outset, we don't have the big bells and whistles of other providers, but this could be all that you need. So you can see I've got blue for Frankie, I've got red for Daniel. So let's have a look and I'm gonna pop in the signature for Frankie. I might pop in the date here for Frankie and I'll pop it, I'll just fill these out as well. And I'll pop in the signature like so. And let's just, just we'll just use the initials here just so that it gives you an idea of what that actually looks like. So I've now dragged and dropped these fields on to the document, right? But we don't get the ability to have or add any additional content. So it's really on those only those three fields. So we'll hit next. Then we've got a title, we've got an optional message, and again, we can toggle on or off the recipients or the signing order, okay? Then I will hit send. So that you can see in the bottom here, it's sending the request, all right? The request is now processing. Um, you can wait till it completes or close the page and be notified by email when it is done, okay? So what we can see is if I pop back into, I'll close this down now, and I'll go back into my document library, I'll hit refresh, nothing happens, right? But what, you'll, what will happen is that I will get a notification and also if I now flick over to Frankie, which I'll do right now, we can see that Frankie's got an email notification here that Daniel has requested a signature for this NDA. So let's have a look and view this request. Now I'll also pop over into Teams and I'll pop into Activity and you can see that as part of the approvals app inside of Teams, I also get a notification in my Activity, or Frankie gets a notification in their Activity feed that 
that has been sent and is being requested. All right, so here we go, view request, I'll pop over, you see that we've got our terms and conditions, I will hit agree, and then just like the others, I can start and here I can do signed and initial. So I might just do my initial here and I'll just pop in D, uh, better not put FA, I'll put FA and you can change the font here. So I might do this font here and I'll click done. Now I will sign, I will put the name in here and hit done and I'll date it as well. All right, so that I've now completed and I'm now ready to submit. So when I hit submit, the document is then going to progress and the other Daniel is going to then be required to sign because we're following that order, all right? So let's pop over and take a look at uh, Daniel's email. So we can now see that Daniel has got the request to sign. Again, I'm going to review the uh, the request here and I can click agree. And you can see on the right hand side that I've got a history or an audit trail of what has actually happened, all right? So the, the signature request was first requested by me. It then was viewed by Frankie and then it was signed by Frankie. And now we're next up in the, the process. So I'll hit start. I can initial here, I will put DA here uh, and hit done. I will sign and here I will put Daniel Anderson, we'll hit O done and we'll hit the date, all right? Again, now complete, I can now submit, all right? So that is now going to submit and we should be all done. Now, I was the requester. So let's have a look and see what that actually looks like from the requester. Now I'll just jump back uh, to Frankie, which is here, and the signature was added. Now, if I jump back into email, there's the request. Now this here just gives me a notification or gives Frankie the notification that he has signed that. And now let's have a look at what I get uh, from my end being the requester of the signatures. So the first email notification that I received as the requester uh, is this one. So I sent a signature request for that particular document and you can see that the message here is it's waiting on uh, Frankie and Daniel to sign and it's in signing order. So that's the first notification. Now the second notification, because Frankie was first in line, I get this email notification to say it has been signed by Frankie and we're still waiting on Daniel to sign. So that's the second notification notification. And the third notification is when that is complete. So then they both, we both have signed that. So Frankie signed it and Daniel signed it. And now that uh, process has been complete. Now that document, if I drag this across, we actually get a new document. So once that has been completed, you can see this is the document that I got that I sent out for signature. And this is the doc, this is the completed document. So we can see if I scroll down here, We'll notice that I've got my signature, I've got the date, I've got the uh, initials there. And if I scroll down, we actually get a signature request summary as well. So we can see we've got a, a request ID, it's completed, when it was completed, who it was sent by, and all the activity from that entire process. All right, so there we go. That is the SharePoint e-signature uh, solution that is there uh, inside of SharePoint. Not as, uh, I guess, as fancy as your DocuSign and your Adobe Sign, or with the additional bells and whistles there. But for a lot of cases, that might be all that you need, that simple type of functionality to get a signature and an approval for a document. Now, this does need to be set up, right? So there is some admin configuration in the SharePoint Admin Center. So let's now just have a quick look at where that is and how we can enable it. So here we are in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I'm under the settings and then org settings. Now, if I go down to uh, pay as you go, so there is some uh, cost implications here as well. So we need to set up billing and manage access to services. And this is part of the, the extra paid services here. If I click inside here, we can see that once this loads under settings, 
I can see under documents and images, I've got e-signature. So we can let users and we can let people in your org use e-signature. We can also turn on or off Adobe Acrobat sign and DocuSign. We could also select uh, certain sites that we want this feature enabled on as well, right? I've got it enabled on all sites, but you could choose up to 100 sites if we wanted to uh, only have that available on select sites. All right, so that is on in the SharePoint Admin Center and that would need to be set up by an admin uh, at your organization to make that available to you as well. All right, so there we go. SharePoint e-signatures. Now it is coming to Word as well. Uh, so you will be able to insert and request a signature directly from within inside Word. Uh, so when that functionality is available, there will be a follow-up video for this as well. So thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.